Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today we're gonna to be talking about and fragrances. So and fragrances is the brainchild of a top perfumer and that is Simon Constantine. Now, you might have heard of that name before. He used to work for Lush and he created Gorilla Perfumes in 2010. So, what is and fragrance all about? Well, their aim in life is to unstink the world. That's one of their catchphrases. Uh, and basically, they hand source and hand formulate pure essential oils and essences. They also support the indigenous communities and those protecting the precious ecosystems. So how did I first come to hear about and fragrances? Well, I've got a fragrance friend that was promoting the brand uh, and she sent me a sample, a sample of sand. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then she asked me if I could join a conference call with a lot of other fragrance people from the community with Simon Constantine. So I was more than happy to join that call and to listen to his thoughts regarding sand. So Simon's passion was like a shining light in that conference. He told us all about sand, how he got sourced, uh, all about the fragrance, and I was mesmerized for the whole session really. His enthusiasm about it and his project and it, it was just brilliant, absolutely loved it. And I know a few other people that were on there really enjoyed it too. It was quite a while ago, um, and it's took me a while before I've started doing a video, but I think I've got enough things together now to make a good video. So sand is a sandalwood fragrance. Now sandalwood, if you don't know, it's a very precious wood from certain trees. Um, and it's farmed quite regularly. So what Simon does, he sources his sandalwood from dead trees. So that's the way they get round it and that's the way um, it means that it's ethically sourced. Plus dead sandalwood has a completely different smell to the normal sandalwood. So that was amazing in itself. I didn't even know you could get that from sandalwood. I didn't even know if it went off and it rotted once it was dead. I didn't know any of that. So sand is a very unique fragrance. We've added banana, it's got cardamom in there, it's got a bit of black pepper, some laudanum, some benzoin. It's very strong and it stands out and it's a really nice fragrance. Um, it can be challenging for some people. Um, I think it was a little bit too challenging for me when I first tried it. But smelling it now, after being in the fragrance world for quite a while, it just gets better and better with time. So that pushed me on to getting a sample set. Now these sample sets are £25. And they contain, well nowadays they contain six samples, but at the time it contained five samples. But what they do, if you like any of the fragrances that are in there and you decide to get a full bottle, then you get that £25 off that full bottle, which I think is a brilliant idea. So this sample set's really nice. Um, you open it up and then it gives you a little booklet giving you details about all the fragrances in there, telling you how they were sourced and what they do, what the ingredients are. Really, really good little book. Really enjoyable reading. So there's the five samples. They were all in line, but they come on these little glue things. So as you move them, they move around with it. And the first one I'll mention is called Mad. There it is, Mad, I don't know if you can see that. And this is Madagascan Vanilla. And this isn't like any other vanilla that you'll smell. This is like a, a naked vanilla. So it's been stripped right back and it's basically the, the warmth of the luxurious orchid that's in there, as they wonderfully put it. 
So it's got ylang oil in there, it's got vetiver, it's got violet, it's got musk, it's got some jasmine and it's got cloves and it is another really good fragrance. So also in there was one called Bear. that so this is Canadian cedar wood and it's straight from the Great Bear rainforest hence the name and but it's got added shore pine it's got Douglas fir in there it's got rosewood in there another fab fragrance and completely different to the other fragrances that's what's great about this set they're all different and they've all got their own unique way so it's a brilliant way of smelling them so the next one was bean and this is Amazonian tonka bean. It's got Brazilian orange oil in there. It's got lavender, it's got neroli, and it's got fennel. So it's got tonka in there, which is quite warm, but it's got some things which are gonna brighten it up as well. So another fantastic fragrance. So I really enjoyed trying these. So obviously sand was in there as well. There was another one in there called Frank, which I'll talk about in a bit. And then the last one, which they've since added is called Patch, which I'll also talk about in a bit. So, and fragrance, it's based in Poole in Dorset. And when I'd got that sample pack, I knew later on in that year, I was gonna be visiting Weymouth on holiday. So we decided to have a day trip over to uh, Poole where we visited their High Street shop. The High Street shop hadn't long opened as well, which was great. I'll show you a bit of footage of the high street shop and you can get a feel of what it's like. But well, I thought it was amazing. And I met Simon Constantine's wife in there and she was a great font of knowledge. Really, really enjoyable this conversation with her. a shop and some of the displays you'll notice in there they had some tags as well which are solid perfume and they come in a really unique looking bottle which I think is absolutely great but I'll mention them in a bit so I decided to pick up a 50 ml bottle of Frank there we go there's the 50 ml case you got details on the back 
you got the A in the top. So really nice packaging. And then this is the bottle. As you can see, really nice. It's got like a green juice in there. You've got the Frank. And then it's got this cap. Really like the cap. And the sprayer on this is great as well. <laughs> that is amazing. So the Parfum version is £125, but if you purchase the sample set, you get £25 off. Um, they do an EDT version of the same, and that's £69. And then they do a 10ml of the Parfum, which is £35. The tags, which are five grams, the solid perfume, that's £35, I think. And the two mil perfumes, they're £6.50. So you can pick all of those up and all the bottles are the same. So it's the same price for all of them. So the reason I picked up Frank is because it was more of a summer fragrance. I visited Pool in the summer and it was really warm when we were down there. And it ended up being probably my favorite summer fragrance that I wore all during the summer. Really did enjoy it. But you, you think Frank, it's a frankincense scent. Now, what I hear you say, wearing a frankincense scent in the summer? Well, if you're thinking of the priest walking down the aisle, swishing away his little thing with all the smoke coming out as your frankincense, then you're completely mistaken because what they've done with this is simply amazing. It's basically a fresh and fruity fragrance and it's just a brilliant for the summer. I love it. And for a summer fragrance, it lasts a long time. It projects really well and everyone that smelt it said they loved it and that was no exceptions. So after my visit, I was excited to hear about a new fragrance that they were launching and it was called Patch. Now, I am a patchouli whore. I absolutely love patchouli, can't get enough of it. I love fragrance with it in. So when I found out that they was doing that, I was over the moon. And then I found out that they were doing a new subscribe and save system. So they've got two systems. I signed up for one of them. I signed up for the adventurer package, which is 29 pound every 90 days and you get 10 mil of a brand new fragrance that comes out and you get a couple of samples with that as well. So I think that's a brilliant idea. As soon as a new fragrance comes out, you're going to try it and they come like this in a package like this. You open it up and it looks like this. So you've got lots of information here really good and then there's your 10 mil of patch and then there's a couple of samples that came so i think that's a great idea i was over the moon with that the other one that they do i think is called all in uh, and it's basically you can choose which fragrance you want to be sent every 90 days and you also get a couple of samples thrown in so if you've got one fragrance that is your favorite and you only ever order that, then you can just do the 10 mils every 90 days. So it's perfect really. But I wanted to try the one where you was getting something new each time because that's just me, I like to try new things. So Patch is made from Sumatran dark patchouli. And then what they've done, they've added oud to it. And it, the fragrance is just real sultry and earthy. I absolutely love it. It's really, really nice. It's quite challenging to wear, as quite a few of Anne's fragrances are, but I think it's well worth it. And you're not gonna smell like anybody else. So that sums up really my journey with Anne fragrance so far. In the future, while well, I'm trying to decide what my next purchase will be, 
I'm definitely going to be picking up some more of their parfums. I really do enjoy them. And I think eventually down the line, I want to own all of them. Whether that's a realistic option, money-wise and that, I don't really know. But it's something I'm going to look to do. And thankfully, I've got the every 90 days, I'll try a new one with a subscribe and save. So my question to you, is it time to unstink the world? Because I know and fragrance have started that and the way that they partner the communities to protect and restore the natural world is just amazing. Uh, big up to them, big up to their vision. I think it's just refreshing to see something like that. And I'm just blown away with the fragrances. Um, but have you tried anything from and fragrance let me know in the comments below would love to get your feedback on that don't forget to like and subscribe it always helps the channel and i'll speak to you all soon stay fragrant not vagrant